Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss instruction codes. Before discussing instruction code, let us define program. A program is a set of instructions that specifies the operation, operand, and the sequence by which processing has to occur, in which the operation can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, etc. Operand can be register operand or it can be a memory operand. And the sequence by which the processing has to occur means the sequence of instruction to be written to get our desired result. Okay, so computer instruction after program because program is made up of computer instructions. So what is instruction? A computer instruction is a binary code that specifies the sequence of micro operations for the computer. That means, say for example, I want to perform addition and for performing addition, the basic operations which are required to fetch the data from memory, to get it stored into the register, then perform the addition, store back result to the memory. So such instructions, such micro operations are defined based on this binary code and that is instruction. So these computer instructions are read from memory and they are transferred to the control register. And this control then interprets this binary code of instruction and proceeds to execute by issuing a sequence of micro operations. So that means when control register will fetch the instruction from memory, at that time the binary code is specified and this binary code will be decoded and based on which the operation will perform and the micro operations which are going to carry it out will be performed. So now let us define what is instruction code. Instruction code is a group of bits that instructs the computer to perform a specific operation. So we can say it is nothing but the instruction itself but the instruction code is a group of bits in form of binary. So example we can say add 457 means add is an instruction code with address 457. So this is an instruction. So out of this add 457, add is operation code. Now what is operation code? The operation code of an instruction is a group of bits that define such operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, complement, shift, etc. So add is an operation code and 457 is an address of the operand in memory. Now these operation codes are designated with unique binary codes which cannot be changed. They are to be fixed at the time of designing the computer. So these codes will define that this is add operation or multiply operation or shift operation or any. So that's why the name given is opcode. Now the number of opcode bits are defined based on the number of total operations available in a computer. That means for example if we are having 16 operations in a computer that means 16 opcodes available into the computer then this opcode number of bits should be 4 because 16 2 raised to 4 is 16 so number of bits allocated to opcode is 4. And the operation code must contain, must follow this relation. That is, it should be at least n bits for a given 2 raised to n operation or it can be less than also. Because they define some distinct operations. Now, these are about programs, instructions, opcode. Now, let us see how they are organized into the memory. Now say for example for our general design of a computer we would be taking memory size of 4096 cross 16 that means the memory contains 4096 words of 16 bits each. So this memory is logically divided into many parts. But in our system, we are considering two parts. The first is instructions and the second is operand on which the instructions are going to get executed. So these instructions for consist of 16 bits. How? Because the word size of a memory, we are treating it to be 16 bit word size. 
So the instruction size would be taking it to be 16 bit instruction size. Along with this we require one more register termed as processor register because we are designing a basic computer so we require a processor register which we name it to be AC accumulator which accumulates the results or which accumulates the operands or which accumulates the data fetched from the memory. So this instructions now discussing this instructions in detail this instructions should have some format as we had discussed 16 bits. So this 16 bits are divided into two parts. The first part is 0 to 11 that is address and the rest part is 12 to 15 that is opcode. So 12s are allocated to address and 4s are allocated to opcode. So now question arise why 12s are allocated to address? Because the number of words in a memory we had defined is 4096. So it is 2 raised to 12. As it is 2 raised to 12, so to point each of the memory location, we require 12 bits. So we can point to 4096 locations of the memory. So 12 bits are allocated to this. And rest 12 to 15, that is 4 bits, are allocated to the opcode. So this is what we term it to be the instruction format of our basic computer. Now let's talk about operand. Now what should be the operand size? Operand size is obviously it should be of 16 bits. So 0 to 15 because there is no division in this. Operand is of 16 bits. So this is what is the stored program organization into the memory. This is how the program is stored into the memory. Memory means main memory which we talk is our RAM. Now let's discuss instruction format in detail. So instruction format as we discussed divided into two parts address and opcode. So 0 to 11 12 bits for address and rest bits are for opcode. But again this opcode we are dividing it into two parts. The 12 to 14 bits are opcode and the 15th bit that is what we term it to be 16th one as I bit. Now I stands for direct indirect. So consider this to be an instruction, a binary code. We don't know what it mentions or what it performs. But let's see we are having this code. So out of this 16 bits, this 0 to 11 are address, then this 3 bits are opcode and this most significant bit that is 16th bit is i bit. Now we'll discuss i in detail later in the next part that is direct or indirect addressing. So this is the instruction add 457. Now as you can see the opcode is 001 for add and 457 so binary 4 then this binary 5 and this is a binary 7. So this is the instruction. Now let us discuss this I in detail. Okay. So direct and indirect addressing. What is direct address? In the second part of instruction we define the operand by means of address. Now that address stores the operand directly then it is direct addressing. But if the second part of the instruction contains the address of some memory word in which the address of the operand is stored. So it is indirect, address of address. So that is what is indirect addressing. Let's see it visually. Suppose this is our memory. In this, this instruction is written where 0 bit is set for i, add is our opcode and 457. Now the memory location we are defining is to be 22. At 457, we are having the operand available. So it is direct addressing. And what will be happening is this operand would be fetched, added to the accumulator and the result would be stored back to the accumulator. So this is direct addressing because 457 stores the operand directly. Now let's see indirect addressing. In this indirect addressing, let's say now I am setting this i bit to be 1. That means it mentions that it is indirect addressing add is our opcode and 300 is the address provided but now at 300 we don't have the operand directly but at this 300 we are having some address that is 
1350. So at this 300, we are having some address 1350, and this 1350 stores the operand. So actual operand is not located at 300. It is located at the address stored in 300, and that location 1350 can stores the operand. So this operand would be fetched, would be added with accumulator, and result would be stored back to the accumulator. So this is how direct and indirect addressing of the memory work. Bits.